What is up guys, this is Night Fury and today I bring you guys another review of this item DX Climax Phone Kateros um, As you can see, this is courtesy of the Takashimaya Craziest Toy Sale um, So yeah, this is where I got it for like 5 bucks So I decided, the reason why I decided to grab this was because I want to review it With the Super Bad Ascension Belt, DX Deno Belt To see if it's compatible, obviously it is so let's take a look at the box, shall we? A quick look. Over here is the box with the Climax um, form of uh, Deno. And all the stuff, all the good stuff, Bandai and such, requires two AAA batteries. Um, so yeah, that's about it on the on the front. On the top we have um, role play and like, Narikiri. Okay. <laughs> uh, then like what? Ka... Can't really read it. Uh... Hikari, Hikaru, or Hikaro, ah, mo, I can't really read, and sound, sound is a, uh, Naru, oh, I don't know, so, uh, yeah, I was just busy reading, so it comes with, you can role play, it comes with lights and sound, and you can see the two modes closed up and flipped up, so, yeah, that's pretty cool, on the left side, we have a uh, climax form with the phone, really cool, on the right side, we have climax form doing the climax charge or charge and up okay on the back we have instructions to do it um just a quick note the difference between the dx version and the legend rider series version is that the well of course the box is different but um the dx version only comes with um momotaro speaking the voices um but the legend rider series comes with all four imagine voices so to be honest, I think the Legend Rider series kind of beats the uh, DX version because it comes with all voices. But if I'm not wrong, the voices are a little bit... The pitch is a little bit hooked up, so I'm not sure. So yeah, that's all. So now that we've done with the box, let's take a look at the item on the inside, shall we? So there we have it, the item, the Climax phone. So if you don't mind, I'll just go and put some batteries inside here first. So there we have it, I just put in batteries. So first you gotta close this. The, the reason why these are being flipped out is because there's this button on the inside. So if you like this, it opens up like that. But we'll just leave it as that. I'm just gonna push it in for the sake of show accuracy. So here's the phone, Climax phone. Um, Kateros. So you closed it, this is the closed up version. Um, on the front, let's take a look at the details. It says, Deno Deno system, same as the belt. And as for this design over here, is the, is the same as the is the thing on the Deno pass, the rider pass, which is really cool. So I just wanna show the similarities. Um so yeah, details wise is pretty cool I guess. Um on the back it says two thousand seven because this is the Actual DX version, so it's from the 2007 line, and 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 at the back it also says Dano Dano system because when you open it up it says over here, and yeah it's just um the color combination of red and black, and white sort of, it looks really good, um to be honest, so yeah um on the inside the details wise, it's pretty cool. For some odd reason, it's not focusing. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it has this uh, speaker thing, so like it's like it's like an actual phone, so that when you when you call someone, um, the the person's voice actually comes up from here, and um, transparent screen, so you can see me, and you can see the item at the back as well. It's like a lock-on system or something. It's pretty cool. And on the pad itself. It, this is the button that does nothing. It just pushes it, which is one of the mechanisms. And it comes with, I don't know, s reply or send. Uh, you have a message, uh, read a book, um, some an arrow popping out of a paper. I don't know. <laughs> and here's the number pad, which is really well detailed. It says, Momo Ura Kin Ryu. And uh, yeah, a bunch of. I mean, it's kind of weird. I mean, uh, if you have an actual phone like this, like, I'm gonna call someone, 
you're gonna call it like this, and then you're gonna like answer like this. Kind of weird. So it's a weird concept, but it it works somehow. Over here we have the answering button, and the Densha logo, and the putting down button. And here's the annoying button, which is uh this is the only part of this phone that actually lights up, and it has a red LED. So I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay, so behold. Maybe it's better if I love the lights. I don't know. So, yeah. That's about it. So, um, the number pads all work uh, individually. But it's uh, sort of like, um, how would I say, a randomized version of Momo's voice. So... I'm just gonna click through everything to see what they say. So they might say the same thing. So um, yeah. Yeah, Momo Towers over there. He's jealous or something. <laughs> I don't know. Sugeja, Hey, didn't you hear? I'm busy. I think so. I'm like trying to translate over here. I have arrived. <laughs> like I said, it kind of loops. It's a randomized thing on the inside, so... Don't call the wrong number. Or like, I'm gonna hang out or something. Okay, that's the same thing. Mosh mosh. I, I are you for real? Like I think that's what I said. Hey, what the he what are you, what are you gonna do about it? Or oh, something like that. Oh, you called me. I'm so happy about that. I think so. I'm just gonna try to translate. Um, so yeah, I just went through all of the sounds. I'm not sure if that's all, but you know, it can be helped. So another function is if you click the three buttons of the same color and then hit the train, the train logo, it uh, makes it mimics the train sound effects, I guess. So there we go. Yep. Last one. Um, so, yeah. Um, one more function that comes with this phone is if you leave it idling for like a while, it'll have this ringtone, which is really catchy, and it's also in the show. So, I'm just gonna leave it here and I'll skip it to the you know, the the point where it, yeah. Yeah, that's a preview of the ringtone. Um, the ringtone is like that is because um, it, the toy has this function so that after a certain period of time, like a few, a couple of seconds, um, it it just plays this ringtone to tell you like, hey, uh, you didn't switch me off. Uh, please switch me off to save batteries. Um, so yeah, that's about all the functionality when it comes to this toy individually. So, I'm gonna go grab the Deno belt, and then... Okay, <laughs> he's calling me again. Okay, you gotta hold off, hold that off. So yeah, I'm gonna grab the Deno belt, and I'll be right back. So yeah, here we have the Deno belt over here, so I'm just gonna switch it on, like so. 
nice to see you again. Um, what you gotta do is you gotta take out this metal plate over here. It's pretty simple. There's like a sort of like a hole over here. So you just gotta take it out like so. So yeah. And to activate uh, Climax Form, it's pretty simple. You just gotta put a phone on it. And yeah, I gotta turn it on first. So what you gotta do is just click this four buttons over here. Momo, Ura, Kin, Liu. And then you click this. Um, so basically what, it, what he said was, everyone's gathered, so it's time for Climax time, so let's do it. Um, so if you hit any random, I mean even at the start, if you just turn, if you just switch it on, um, even without pressing these buttons, you can also activate Climax form. That's a very annoying part, which I, I mean, it's probably individual systems, so you can help with it. So yeah, let's do it again. Um, so you gotta put it on like so. Um, this, to, uh, how does the belt know that uh, it's actually in climax form? It's because of this thing over here. This little met metallic um, port, I don't know what you call it, hole thingy, pin, I don't know. And then here it just clicks in, so it's like, it hit, it hooks in, and then the belt will know that, oh, I'm in climax form. Time to kick Imagine's butt or something. So there's this two latches over here, one and... Alright. Okay, okay, I know you're happy, Mamotaros. Uh, so you just gotta click it on, like so. Uh, let's do it again. Yeah, take it out, and then put this... This is very annoying to do. <laughs> there we go. And then if you do this, that if you push this part back, it um, takes this two out. So what you gotta do is... Actually, for this part, you can actually just switch out the phone already. Um, just click this thing over here, like so, to do charging up. And then you use the rider pass over here. There we go. You can do it as many times as you want, so... Um, so yeah, that's about it um, for this toy. So yeah, oh, just to tell you guys, there's actually this hook over here. So it actually hooks on to the belt, which is, it hooks on to this thing. So this thing will open, if you can see. This thing will open and then it'll hook on on the inside like so. So it stays over there. So just to tell you guys. Yeah. There's a little bit more information for you guys. So would I recommend this item? Um, if you can pick it up right now at the sale. At the Takashimaya 17th uh, craziest toy sale. For like 5 bucks like I did. Um, yes, I would highly recommend it. Because um, 5 bucks for this. For a complete set is pretty worth so or you can just get it on ebay or something if you have the super best henshin belt because technically the super best henshin belt is just a re-release of the dx deno belt so they come they are still compatible no problem um about them releasing a super best henshin uh super best henshin belt um Keitaros, i'm not sure about that um, since I don't think they actually release any news regarding that, so if not, you can just go and pick this up, pick this item up at the Singapore Craziest Toy Sale or on eBay. Just don't miss it, it's until the 29th of September as of filming, which is this Sunday, so I would highly recommend it. Um, 
Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Night Fury, signing out. Thanks for staying back for the Night Fury talk corner. This is just a very short talk because I just want to show you guys how you can activate Climax form without the the Kateros, which is pretty simple. I'm gonna put this in. It's not gonna work. Uh, you gotta take this out first. So yeah, I'm gonna take this out, put it aside, and as you can see. Like I said, there's a hole inside. So what you gotta do is you gotta take like a chopstick because I'm Asian, and it works. It works. So um, the reason why there's a button there, there's this button here, and then you click it. It it pushes in. It doesn't do anything else. Is because if you activate it like so, you can just press any of the buttons over here, and it it pushes it any of the buttons like so, and it activates the charging up which is pretty annoying um, so yeah that's all I gotta say about it and honestly this phone is pretty awesome um, I, I didn't think I would get it but I was thinking like since I already have the super best engine belt I might as well go and get it and then just by coincidence and accident they had this toy sale this week so I was like wow that's my luck so I just went down yesterday with my bro uh, Karina Yukio and uh, tech team of justice aka and we went down and got this item um yeah this is the only annoying part um あの、すいません。あ、僕は今リビューあ、ちょっと待ってて。This is very annoying. This is very very annoying. Uh, <laughs> uh once a while, you if you just leave it around and then he'll he'll, he'll just keep calling you. I'd say that this is actually the prototype of the NS Mac phone because the NS Mac phone does the same thing. It actually calls you with that ringtone. Uh link to the NS Mac phone review somewhere. Um so yeah I just wanna add all these things up. So yeah they did improve the system of the Kateros to the NS Mac phone. So technically you have two phones now if you collect Forze. So yeah that's about all I wanna talk about. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this review and this is Night Fury signing out. I know it's very messy over here but I hope to review more in the future and hopefully I'll see you guys at AFA in two months which is pretty soon so I, I can't wait for AFA I really hope to vlog more on uh, during there and because last year I didn't I didn't vlog because it was it was too crowded and I didn't have the spirits or the mood to actually vlog because it was really hectic last year, so uh, I'm really glad they went back to Suntech this year because last year it was at uh, the expo. I'll probably make a vlog about it, um, probably soon. Uh, uh, I'll probably make a vlog soon. We'll see, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review, and this is Night Fury signing out. I'm not gonna blabber so much. Signing out.